Hello there Aries, this is Sage the Intuitive and I am here to do a past, present and future reading in love for you. This should be a fairly quick reading. We're going to see what's going on in your love life or what could have been going on in your love life. So let's jump right in. We're going to get three cards to see. One to represent your past, recent past, one to represent your present and one to represent your future. All right, for Aries. One more Aries. One more for Aries, please. Okay. And we have two that came out for you, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. All right, Aries, let's get started. Let's see what's going on. And we're going to clarify with a different truth deck. See if we get more clarity here. All right, so in the past for Aries, heartbroken. So in the past, situations have left you a bit heartbroken. Maybe they did not go out, go about the way that you wanted them to go. And this caused you some um, pain. And this could have made you feel like um, you have lost faith. And love and relationships like you have given your all to specific situations in the past and may not have felt that you have gotten that back from whomever you were giving your time energy love to and some of you are a little bit stuck in the past you're gonna need to take the lessons from the past and move forward take the lessons from the past and and turn them into something positive because it seems like many of you are stuck with that energy or feeling like you may be meeting the same type of people you feel or people that are doing the same type of things over and over again that could just be a sign that you have not healed a piece of um your, your past those things that that could have could be could have bothered you then needing to have um healed those pieces um of the past so that you can move forward some of you could be having have had some issues with children maybe you wanted to have children in the past and, and was unable to do that maybe with a partner that you really love um for some of you your partner that you loved had children with someone else and you want you desire children so this is kind of um kept you kept you f feeling like you're in the dark around some things here and this could also be why you were heartbroken maybe someone in the past that you were dealing with had a child with someone else or you found out about a child with someone else and this is us going this is what um kind of you know shook you which i mean it should yeah this is forcing you to get into some feelings of self-love here that you um it may have been teaching you a lesson of self-love and that's why you you're stuck in the past because you haven't completely learned the lesson of self-love here so that is something for you also it's a teaching you a lesson about forgiveness as well and instead of dealing with working on your self-love working on being forgiving so that you can transmute that energy you just put yourself into this feeling of being very very busy all the time like you're too busy to worry about that or you busied yourself with life so that you didn't have to deal with what was going on in the past let's see what's going on in your present no longer interested so either you're no longer interested in this person or this person is no longer interested in you you're no longer interested in the situation or this person may be no longer interested in the situation so in your present energy you're showing no longer um, not being interested in whatever is being given towards you maybe you're meeting new people but you're still kind of stuck in the past so you're not really interested in people that um that want you Some of you are wondering if you'll get back together with this person. Some of you are really wanting to get back together with this person. Um, there are a small amount of you, and I don't feel like this is a large amount, that will get back together with, with someone from the past. Um, for the ones that are trying to have the children, you know, maybe a time for you to really sleep, seek some professional um, help. Maybe you need to see a doctor to help you with, with this. Um, and some of you have been thinking about this. Um, 
some of you have had to realize that um, it wasn't you. And I think that goes back to the self-love that you may have neglected and neglected in the past where you were um, thinking it was something wrong with you. Maybe that's why self-love came out for you that you have neglected yourself now it's becoming very clear that that is um not the case that it was not you it was this person as well or this person all to begin with but i always feel like we all have some part in something right um so in this present energy you're getting more clarity around um your past situations of how to deal with your past situation now there could be someone that is um returning or will call you or because i kept seeing that on the past that somebody is going to try to call you or return um however there's somebody that's going to try to return you are going to continue to avoid <laughs> this person or you have been avoiding this person because past present future is relative some people could be still living in this part some people could be living in this part or have left this could be past energy for someone and some people could have already dealt with this um this part that is going to be for the future but some of you are avoiding right now whoever this person is or people or things whatever was bothering you in this past energy you could be avoiding that so let's see your present work it out and being too clingy let's see what that's about so some of you gonna work it out i said that <clears throat> but okay got the message that you're gonna have to learn not to be so clingy or there's somebody in your life that is a bit clingy for your liking um so even though you might feel that this person is a little bit clingy always wanting to um know every single move that you make all those things it is a possibility that you will work it out so let's see see what this future looks like for Aries some of you are not even gonna work it want to work it out because one is is being a little clingy or wanting um something for you from you yeah some of you are still gonna be stuck on this x is because you're not releasing the past here so some of you are gonna still be stuck on the x or wanting to work it out uh, with an X and this may be your message to say if you want to work this out you can't be so clingy um, because you feel like there's a lot of chemistry here but guess what, what you don't see is there are red flags there um, so just be very careful with in the future this may be just a warning just to you know crush your eyes crush your T's crush your eyes crush your T's dock your eyes make sure that you're getting all the messages that you need to get meditate and um, pay attention to your intuition because some of you are really missing um, something here from this person. Yeah, see, it says don't settle. So just take it slow um, and be open. Keep your eyes open to what's to come in the future. So this may be a little bit of a warning for some of you um, that are have, have the sign of Aries in your chart here so this is what i have for you don't forget to like share and subscribe certainly leave me a comment and i'll see you soon aries take care